All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, and it is time to review what I am calling the Beastie Boys. <laughs> this is the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Come and join us for a live stream on Monday night, 7.45 p.m. Eastern, KF Live, Blue Monday, and also uh, check me out over on Instagram, uh, Knives Fast. There we go. Uh, so this is two knives from Concept, guys. Uh, these both came in very similar uh, concept boxes here with the, the new drawstring bags that they're doing. Uh, very nice presentation. Uh, they came from concept, uh, which doesn't really affect uh, my review. I'm going to give you an honest review uh, one way or the other. Even though they sent them, they know that in advance. This uh, is the concept Corvid M. Now, the Corvid line has been out for a little while. Uh, there was the Corvid uh, Mini, there was the Corvid M, there was the Corvid S, the fixed blade that I love. Uh, and this is the Corvid M Plus. So I think these are just bigger. Uh, they are really big. Now, these are um, designed, if I remember correctly, I think it's by Coke Tools. Hold on, we'll look. I, I always forget that I did some homework right before the review and kind of read up on these guys, which, by the way, I will tell you, if you go to the link I'm going to leave, there are a ton of versions of this available. I mean, I'm not joking. There are a bunch um, of these available. Now, let's just, uh, you know, what I, what I learned is that there are a lot of these, and they are really cool. Now, let's see. Yep, Coke Tools. I was right. Now, this particular guy, the G10 and 154CM one, uh, is $79. 99 at Concepts website, and you can probably find it at Dealers too if you want. Uh, but Concepts sent it to me, so that's where I'm gonna look. And then this particular guy is Burlap Micarta and S35 VN, and that one is 169.99. I believe that one does that one also have like no, I think it's steel liners. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go further here in just a second. So now guys, here's the thing. Some of you are saying, why would I ever own this knife? I know you're saying that. Okay. Um, it is big. Okay. So when we flip this open, it's a big knife. And some people have even made the comment of who snapped the tip off. It's ugly. And I like a knife with a tip. And if, if that's who you are, then you probably shouldn't get this knife, but this knife both of these, let's just get the, the stands out of here. Both of these make me smile. This is fun. And guys, here's the thing. And I, I'm going to do this just to see if I can keep some of you around. There's some of you right now saying, I have no interest in this knife. Um, now, here's the thing. For such a big knife, this has very thin stock. And it comes down to a very thin edge. And I'm going to screw this up. Uh, but here is a lovely Uline catalog page. Um, and uh, I didn't screw it up. Look at that. Cut, cut. And now let's go to the 154CM version. And again, there we go, Casey. Oh, that's because there's something on the blade where I cut with it earlier. Um, there we go. So very smooth. No, come on. See, this that's me, guys. There we go. Um, I always hold the paper at the wrong angle. Uh, but it, they are very thin and slicey. As you can see, they just shave. I mean, this is fantastic. Um, so the answer is, maybe this isn't one you carry on a regular basis, but this could be in your truck as your cardboard breakdown knife. It could be uh, one that you keep, you know, uh, you know, to just get to quickly to do utility type cuts or breakdown pack. You know, I use them uh, for breaking down boxes. Now I've made a giant mess over here, by the way, but they are just really cool and make me smile. Now, on top of that, you have really good action. The detent for such a thick guy is really, I mean, look at that. The fuller is smooth. Um, but I can definitely push into that fuller and middle finger flick. I can uh, thumb open it really well dialed detent. Can I thumb, can I middle finger flick it off the thumb stud? No, I cannot. Yes, I can. Um, and then your flipper tab, really good. Now that flipper tab doesn't have any jimping. Definitely wish it did. And I wish it wasn't so big and giant, but I mean, come on, you've got a big giant knife here. Look how, big, how much the blade sticks out of this thing, guys. Uh, by the way, blade to handle is just fine. <laughs> um, 
and it is centered. They both came very centered. Uh, as you can see, no problems with centering. No, nah, they're fine. Um, this one might be off to the show side slightly, but no big deal. Probably just needs to be tightened a little bit. Um, but smooth. They're running on bearings. Drops to your thumb. You don't even have to shake. Just drop to your thumb and get out of the way. Give it a little nudge, and it goes. Same thing. Let's see. By the way, they are consistent. Both detents are really good. Now, I guarantee being concept, these are running on bearings and race washers, and you can feel it. They are very smooth. Very smooth. I like it. Now, um, neither one, they're both flat scales. This one has kind of a checkered G10, and it is very grippy. And this one has the burlap micarta. It's a little smoother, but, I mean, you're not going anywhere. And you got these two lines that kind of grab your thumb as well. Now, your chamfering consists of kind of a notch, like a routed edge from a router on a piece of wood, you know. Um, you do have bent over clips. In this case, it matches the blade in the gray. In this case, it matches the blade in the black. You do have a, la a lanyard hole on them uh, and open construction. Otherwise, and then if you look inside here, um, we have a little bit of weight reduction, but not a ton. And I think, you know, it, they aren't overly heavy. And we'll go over that in a minute. You have chunky jimping. Uh, if you're back here, is a good place to land on that chunky jimping. And by the way, feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, it's curved down. Feels good. I wish it was rounded and contoured, but since it's not, it still feels fine. You go over the top of that clip. By the way, your clip sits on the scales and it has uh, button head screws, but no big deal for this knife. You just come right over the top of it. Now, if I choke up, my thumb goes right in that nice little poon there, and that is perfect. Great size, and you have plenty of relief uh, on your sharpening choil, as you can see. I mean, just wonderful uh, in the hand. And it gives you that same thing. You guys remember, I loved uh, the Corvid S, the fixed blade. Same thing, you get that great feel in the hand. Now, this one is a little chunkier because it's a bigger knife, um, but still, you get a very nice grip for me. Now, carry-wise, they're not the greatest, guys. This thing takes up a hunk of room in your pocket. Um, it was hard for me to carry a secondary, even in my cargo pants, because it was hitting up against it. It's so big, uh, but I did it. I carried it. I carried each one, I think two days or one day each or something. I don't know. It was two or three days total, I think. Three days total. Um, but not bad. Now they are dead locked up. Um, you have like 30% on your lockup on that one. Same on this one. They're very consistent. No lock stick, no blade play, no lock rock, nothing of the sort. So let's pull this one down from, by the way, I really like that burlap micarta. It is very nice. Now let's do our normal comparisons. Comparison number one, you've got the Ontario Rat 1, which for the first time in its life uh, seems small. <laughs> it is still a little bigger on the blade, uh, but not much. And there you go, about a little, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the Rat 2, but height-wise, it's way bigger. And then if we stick our friend, uh, the Civivi Bull Mastiff in here, which is a favorite fun knife for me, um, you can see the comparison there. It's The Mastiff is longer, but it's less tall, if that makes any sense. So where the Corvid M Plus gets its Beastie Boys uh, reference is that it is tall and longish. It's just a big, 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 big boy, um, if you know what I mean. So let's talk through specs, um, and then we will wrap this puppy up. So the... The G10 one, um, hey, stop it, phone, um, is 7 point, well, okay, they're both 7.8 inch, inches overall with a 3.07 inch blade. The blade thickness is 0.118, which is 3 millimeters, guys. That is a thin stock for such a beefy knife. Now, they call it a cleaver, 154 for this, 154 cm for this guy, S35 for that guy. Uh, it says this one is 6.35 ounces overall, 
And let's go look at what the other one is weight-wise. Probably going to be about the same. No, they say this one, wow. And it is lighter. But I had, all right, we're going to have to test this. They say this one's 4.13. All right, we're getting the scale, guys. I'm not saying they're wrong, but man, it doesn't, it doesn't feel two and a half ounces lighter, but they could be right. All right, so let's baseline it. Uh, first of all, a matter of fact, let's just do this. The uh, Bull Mastiff, 5.57. All right. The uh, Corvid with the G10 and the full liners is 6.53. The Corvid uh, with the Burlap Micarta and the full liners, okay. So there we go. I knew that wasn't right, okay. It is lighter, a half an ounce lighter, but it is not two and a half ounces lighter. I didn't think so. So that's a mistype on their website for sure. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm not on the right one. That's why. That is a different micarta. Hold on. Hold up. All right, so this guy. Yep. No, it says 8.32 ounces. Okay, so it's still not right. Uh, you saw it's a little over six ounces. Now, this guy right here is, um, I will give you the link down below. It is $169, and this one is $79. Uh, you either got a nice budget-friendly one or a little more premium. They do have the one uh, with the, they offered to send me the one with the, the flamed titanium lightning tie, um, lightning anno, I guess you call it. Uh, they offered to send me that, and I wanted this one instead. Um, and so really, really, really cool. All right, we're at 12 minutes, but it is two knives. But sorry about that, guys. I got carried away. But uh, let me know what you think. Again, oh, by the way, great access to the lock bar. And you do have a nice little chamfer there. Lock bar moves over really easily. Not a problem. Uh, really cool beast of a knife that some of you are going to hate and some of you are going to love. So very cool, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast, sometimes a little bit slower channel. Have a good one.